New at 10. Picture this, an Iron Man suit that you can control with your mind. This isn't science fiction, this is real life. A robotic exoskeleton being unveiled at this year's World Cup. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen finding out CSU plays a role in this project that could change everything for people with spinal cord injuries. The moment deserving the biggest cheers at this year's World Cup in Brazil may have nothing to do with soccer and everything to do with someone who never thought he'd walk again. Well, we're unlocking the potential of the brain to be able to act based on thoughts. Dr. Alan Rudolph, CSU's vice president of research, is the managing director of the Walk Again Project. This video shows for the first time a man with a spinal cord injury using a freestanding exoskeleton that can respond to his thoughts. It even looks like a real life Iron Man suit. A lot of smart people figured out the science, but it uses sensors on the head to send signals from his brain to the suit and back. And for the first time, he can walk. People with spinal cord injuries will be watching this and thinking, I may be able to walk someday. Yeah. That's right, and, and I think that day uh, will come, and I think this is a, this is a chapter in a, in a long series of investments being made around the world. This effort involves 125 scientists and engineers from six countries, a lab in France creating the exoskeleton, other teams focusing on the neuroscience. We do need another version. I and think, CSU you know. <laughs> scientists designing the liner inside the helmet. It has to be exact. It has to fit exactly the patient's head and the inside of the helmet. The helmet and liner protect the user's head in case of a fall, but also hold the electrodes perfectly in place to receive brain signals. Scientists did a 3D scan of the patient's head and used 3D printers for precision. It's basically a hot glue gun on steroids. Here's how it works. It prints a stream of plastic that melts as it comes out. So if you take a 3D object and then you slice it up into many, many, many little slices and then you print one and then the stage drops and you print another and the stage drops and you print another. After several prototypes, they figured out the perfect fit and they'll all be watching and cheering when it's on one of the biggest stages in the world. The person wearing the suit will kick the first ball in the first World Cup game. Uh, I think a lot of tears will be shed that day. Because people who come to watch soccer will soon see what the future may hold. Some young people will get out of their wheelchair and walk. I mean, that's a big deal. In Fort Collins, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Well, that's absolutely amazing, isn't it? That kickoff of the World Cup is next Thursday, and it can be seen on ESPN. You'll also be able to watch World Cup matches right here on Denver 7 starting next weekend.